So a big question that a lot of women in my childbirth preparation classes ask is what actually happens in the body during a contraction? And that is an excellent question. Uh, you know, when you have a contraction, it feels like there's a lot going on in your body. It can feel kind of chaotic. Obviously, it can feel really, really intense. But actually, you know, what's happening in your body during a contraction is really pretty simple. So what happens? is, well, actually first, I'm gonna give you a little lesson on the different layers of the uterus. Then I'll tell you what it does to get the baby out. Okay, so your uterus is made up of three different layers. So the innermost layer is made up of these, these circular muscles that are most condensed down at the bottom where your cervix is. The uh, middle layer of the uterus is made up of just like interwoven blood vessels and the outermost layer of the uterus is composed of these, these vertical muscles. And so what happens when you're having a contraction is that these outermost muscles, they pull out, up, and push down. Out, up, and push down. And as they pull out, they slowly cause these circular muscles to open a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, and that's what causes the, the cervix to open. So it's pretty simple. Pull up, out, push down, up, out, push down. These circular muscles open a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And that's all that happens to have a baby. It's pretty amazing that women that have been in comas have given birth vaginally because their body gets the baby out for them. You know, it's pretty amazing to realize how well equipped our bodies often are to to birth without us really doing anything but providing the body with oxygen. And of course, you know, all of the tips that I give on this channel, tips that you get in a childbirth preparation class, they all serve to make the, the sensations of birth less intense, maybe to speed it up a little bit. You know, there's all sorts of things that we can do to enhance the journey, but ultimately, Really, all you have to do is have a good medical care provider there to make sure that you and baby are safe, and then breathe. Just keep breathing. It's as simple as that. All right, if you have any questions about this or anything else about pregnancy, childbirth, or early motherhood, let me know in the comments below.